This is going on. What in the hell? What in the hell? I bugged him. I bugged it by uh, running through and casting my AoE diseases. Instead of following me, it ran up the side of the pillar and gets stuck in the ceiling. That's amazing. Good job. <laughs> okay, it just so happens okay. we're on a boss, so explain this guy. Grigory Kezlov. Don't. Just back up, back up. The way this boss works is uh, he's probably actually one of the more difficult bosses in here. Um, on Expert, he has an ability called, like, Deathly Blow or something. You have to interrupt Death Blast. That's what it is. Um, if it gets off, it kills him. On Normal, he doesn't do that. So you basically burn him until he uh, he summons three little mages in a triangular formation. One right about here and in the opposite corner and one in fr behind him. Uh, they channel a shield to the boss that causes him to take no damage. You have to kill them. He still, however, attacks the tank and does damage. Uh, this is a little bit stressful on the healer, but it shouldn't be too bad. His only other mechanic is he summons a mob called a uh, a Delver. Um, the tank just picks it up and you should AoE it down. He's honestly not that difficult. You say he wasn't that difficult. Oh, hey, another boss. Grigory Kreslov. Oh, this is the dude I need for the quest, I think. Cool. Let's get him. Bleed effect. More bleed effect. Stab repeatedly. Summoning. Can I, can I interrupt that? No, I can't. Can't interrupt that. Apparently he's summoning minions, though. I'd imagine that if there's too many of those, things get a little hairy, so I'm gonna keep track. I wonder how much damage he's taken for that one. The dead have risen! Oh no, this is... Okay, we gotta kill these. They're channeling. Channelers are always bad. Every single time. I've never had a case of good channelers ever. Jeez. Another thing that's bothering me about this fight is it's taking up place up here and I don't see any like handrails or guardrails or anything. So it's uh, a little hairy, if you know what I mean. Put armor piercing on this guy again. Do some nice damage and I think we got him finished off. Yeah, the only thing we're having trouble with in here is the pulls. All the pulls are ridiculous thus far. Uh, more shoulders I can't use. God. Whatever. <laughs> oh well. And away from this boss we end up going. The first thing I'm going to notice over here to the side is a quest mob that I want to do. And I state to the party clearly that I want to do this little quest really quick. And um, as per usual in any sort of instance group, the entire party decides to go do something else first before helping you with quest, which then leads to someone dying, and then everyone dying. At which point, I decided to just run away and re stealth and play the waiting game for them to get back. Hilarious. Quite, quite hilarious. But at least I didn't die. I don't know how I managed to avoid that. But anyway, what, it, what ended up happening there on that pull was apparently the healer actually fell off of the platform somehow or another, and with the healer falling off the platform and to their deaths, because this room is actually quite deep, um, no one else really had any hope, uh, as, as you can probably see. I'm sitting there talking to... Uh, Chog at the same time about this instance, probably, probably complaining at him. Probably, I can't really read it from here because I'm I'm recording over this in studio just just to get the gist of what's going on. But if you're running this in high quality, you can probably read our conversation, uh, and it's probably just a lot of complaining. But anyway, it's fun. It's all fun. It's good. Good times. So finally. It appears that my party appears to have uh, rejoined us after a very short time span. And they're getting back to resing everyone. 
And, of course, I quickly remind them that I do have a quest over here. And I'm standing right next to where I want to go for said quest. Hoping they will actually come back and help me with it. Because otherwise, I do the thing that I usually do when people refuse to help me with a quest. And that is be a complete jerk. But thankfully, the tank notices. The tank comes over and the tank decides to assist me. As a good tank should do. Thank you, Tank. Thank you, Tank, for helping me with my quest. Because you didn't have to, but you did. And that's appreciated. That's good. You always want to help people. Being helpful is the cornerstone to any MMO. If you're not helpful, then you are a jerk. And you, you do not get friends doing that. No. No, you don't. So we're going to beat these dudes up and kill all these gosh darn spiders. Because there's a bunch of gosh darn spiders in here. Complete my quest, turn in everything, except the new thingamajiggy-doober. And uh, that's a good quick shot at how big this instance is. It actually doesn't look that big. But the reason it doesn't look that big is because it's an underground Jawa village, basically. <laughs> you might notice all the spinning, swirly platforms and all that sort of thing. And another reason it doesn't look that big is, um, as, we'll, as I'll probably end up pointing out later, that's only half the instance. Third boss. Bone Hugh the Thunderer. Um, for melee, like yourself, this is actually one of the worst bosses in here because of uh, the fact that he moves so much. Uh, the main boss mechanics, he puts a random debuff on a party member. Uh, you'll be able to tell because it'll put a uh, pulsing aura around you. It's just going to do damage to you, and if you stand near anybody else, it's going to do damage to them. Besides that, it's a rather easy tank and spank fight with the exception that he will knock the tank back. And as you can tell, we're on a platform. He will randomly run to a point on this platform and shoot a shockwave across the platform. If you get caught by that shockwave, it'll knock you back possibly off the platform. At 50%, he splits into two separate bosses that are tanked together, and both of those move to specific points on the map. And cast the shockwave across. I'm pretty sure so that's just on expert, though. Getting knocked off. Really? Yeah, he didn't do that during our encounter. But anyway, okay. Thank oh. you. Hmm, look at this big guy. He's doing something on the ground with fire circles. That's probably going to factor into the fight a little bit. Need more source frags. Oh god! He made an explosion happen. One of us is going to fall off, I can feel it. Alright, that's fine. Let's get on with it, though. Bone Chew the Thunderer. Back against barrels. Okay. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. If you're ranged. Oh! Oh my god! Wasn't kidding. Wasn't kidding at all. So I guess I'm just going to stay on this side of him. Yeah, I'll stay on his front so I don't have to worry about getting knocked off. That was, that was a scary little, oh jeez, scary little thing there. Ow! Holy crap. He hurts! Check this guy out. He's massive. Ow. Ow! Heal! Heal! Pop my poisons. Oh jeez. This guy's... Ridiculous. We almost got him. He doesn't. He goes down pretty fast, but man, just look at all this damage he's doing to uh, the red shirts. I'm starting to call them red shirts now. You totally ruined me, Gil. Eh. Die, 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 die. Yes. Okay, cool. Whew. That was just a bunch of knockbacks. It was awful. Uh, a bunch of deck springs. Someone else needed them. I'm gonna pass. They don't They don't have as much decks as the ring I'm currently using. I have a feeling they're more intended for warriors, and I don't want to anger anyone in this party. Uh, anyway, that was interesting. <laughs> Ooh, let's not say we did. Yep, fun little boss. Um, wasn't expecting the gravity of the knockbacks. I could have probably done better by... 
switching specs or getting behind him, I might not have taken as much damage. But what you're seeing right now is us getting to the bottom floor by way of just jumping around and stuff and avoiding all the trash. Of course, as expected, three of the party members decide to aggro all the trash for whatever reason. Um, but it isn't, it isn't a big deal, because I did have a quest to do down here anyway, so we would have probably had to aggro him on the way out, or something. So, eh, not, not too big of a problem. And as it turns out, we start running around, and then these two decide to go off and point out we do actually have a quest down here, so we get that done after killing more spiders, and more bats, and more things, and more stuff. And this is a really funky, interesting quest. See, apparently this quest works like a game of uh, King of the Hill, where you activate the little pedestal thingy, and then you go stand on it, and you have to kind of sit and just wait a little bit, um, defending the light source, as far as I could tell. And then after you do that for a little while, everything's fine and snazzy. But of course, I didn't really... Oh, this is another thing. Okay, yeah. This just happened. We just had a pet debacle. It was pr it was pretty fast because I, I'm fast forwarding the video, but I want to talk about this for a second. General loot rules: Whenever you're running with a pug, um, the common courtesy thing to do is wait for at least one person to roll. Wait for at least one person. Um, and if that person rolls greed on a vanity item, also roll greed. If that person rolls need on a vanity item, also roll need because. Some people think that it's more fair to greed roll stuff than need roll it. Um, really, honestly, you should always need roll, but I wasn't aware of this server's loot policies for that, and apparently no one else in this party was, so what we ended up having happen was three of us greed rolled, and then the last two people to roll need rolled. And it kind of soured the aesthetic of, that we were running with, because suddenly you had two people that were looked at as ninjas and bad players and all of, all of that sort of thing. When really all it was was a misinterpretation of the rules. And I got on them about it just because I wanted them to know that that wasn't cool and they should have seen us all greed rolling and followed suit. But, eh, it's just, it was just a little bad thing. And even if, even if it would have been nice to have, it really wouldn't have been that important. This room, on the other hand, looked like a trash pull to me. When I first walked in here, I thought this was a trash pull. Really, completely, and truly. Um, as it turns out, it's not. No, this is not a trash pull. This is actually the final boss. Because uh, it, it sort of tricked me. I looked at the mini-map, and you see there's a room behind this room that you can go into. But that's actually the expert part of the dungeon. That is not the standard part of the dungeon. So, what ended up happening is I ended up kind of sitting back and just kind of going, terrible, terrible. I guess we're going to clear these last two trash pools and then somehow get into that part. Oh, jeez. The crap is that thing? Oh! What is that? Oh, it dropped a little energy crystal. Kill it. Kill the energy crystal. I don't know what it does. Oh, it's a healing thing. Yeah, definitely kill that. All right. That was unexpected. I was expecting that to just be a trash pull. So my commentary is a little bit slow, that's why. Um, if I haven't said so by the, this point, um, I've never been here before, so this is pretty much a first impressions run. And I'm sure in post-commentary I might have said a few things, uh, considering how this run went, about uh, stuff I found out after the fact, but for f boss fights and stuff, it's pretty much as is with uh, the style I'm working with. This guy's crazy looking. His, his kneecaps look so just weird. And there's the bard dead. I can see this going badly. Uh. He hasn't dropped any more crystals yet, has he? Haven't seen one in a little while. Ow! No, there's one. Oh, don't kill earth crystals. Okay. Don't kill earth crystals. I, I, I don't know why, but apparently we're not supposed to kill earth crystals. 
Um. What? Don't kill Earth Crystals, they are healing him. Well, if they're healing him, wouldn't you... Huh? I, I don't even... I don't even... What? Blow my heal. Man, this group has just been so derpy. Like, I, it's my first time here. So normally, like, I should feel pretty bad. But, this is... Okay, healer down. Oh, no. Question is, can I kill him? Can I be that guy? Probably not. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> okay. That's great. Uh, oh, well. Well, that was the first run. I'm going to let them walk back and pick me up this time. I've done it like three other times. I didn't know this room was going to have a final. boss in it at first, actually. <laughs> when we walked in here, I had no idea this was the last boss room. Yes. Uh, Gatekeeper, Kalita. On Expert, this is only like the halfway point. But for Normal, this he is actually quite difficult. Um, he changes elements partway through the fight. And that's the whole fight encounter, is him switching elements and how you deal with each element that he switches to because he's a freaking crystal golem whatever the hell you want to call it but what he does is he goes through fire water air earth and that's it fire like you see he just flamed up um he does a fire blast aoe that melee have to run out of otherwise it kind of hurts and he shoots two random fire crystals at your party members these are left alone you just concentrate on the boss and keep going when he goes to Earth, which usually follows this, as you can tell, he's in an Earth color right now, um, he shoots two crystals out. However, these have to actually be burned down because they channel a healing uh, beam at the boss. And hold on. I pulled everything. I hit the wrong button. Pulled everything. <laughs> okay, as I was saying, I they bleep. channel a healing beam... You're terrible. <laughs> they channel a healing beam at the boss, and most people's DPS can't keep up with the heal, so you have to take them apart. Uh, water, he just suffocates the tank. Uh, the water crystals, you can stack on them. They don't do anything whatsoever. He puts a stacking debuff on the tank that causes the tank to take more damage. Uh, lightning is, or air, is exactly the same. The crystals really don't do anything, so you can ignore them. The only two super dangerous phases are fire and earth. If you can get out of AoEs and um, kill the healing crystals, he goes down rather quickly. When we were fighting him, the only two crystals we had were uh, fire and earth, actually. Well, the other ones might be expert. Like I said, I apologize. Most of these strats come from the experts because I haven't done the normals in God knows how long. Mm-hmm. It's fine. I'm sure someday I might revisit all these dungeons on expert mode anyway, and I'll hopefully be a little bit more experienced with the game by then. I am just coming back, so <laughs> there's that. Yeah, oh, believe me, you'll be running this place a lot, especially if you do your epic death chain. You'll do this place at least three or four times for that. Anywho, let's kill this boss. Okay, this time I think we got him. Oh, that was so weird that first time. <laughs> like, I have no idea why that guy suddenly acted like he knew what to do when he just had no clue as to what was going on. Don't kill the Earth Crystals, they're healing him! Ah! <laughs> That's like my quote for the month for uh, boss strats. Don't kill the Earth Crystals, they're healing the boss. <laughs> That's going to be one to remember. Oh, dear. This has been a long, long run. Is he dead yet? Come on. Kill him. Kill him, please. I'm abusing my one-minute healing potion cooldown. There we go.
deep strike mines, guys. Deep strike mines. I'm going to ninja those, hopefully. Uh, that's an accessory. No, I don't need that. Pass. I'd love those shoulder pads. Please tell me I get something good from this instance. Come on. Shoulder pads, shoulder pads, shoulder pads. Ah, crap. Oh, well. That's fine, I guess. Um, that helm doesn't end up being very good for me. Rare equipment cache. So at least I'd get, I did get this. Maybe I get something good out of this thing. Rifleman's belt of the stalwart. Well, that's good. That's at least one new item. Oh boy, that was a Definitely. chore and a half. That was ridiculous.